All right, so just want to do a quick video on this uh, Acura MDX with a no start. Um, now, if you have, uh, if you got a no start in Acura MDX, and your you have the key light flashing in your dash, you're gonna want to look for that. So I tried. I'm trying to start this, and I got nothing, and I got a flashing key. So what that flashing key means is that the security. Um, those you know, the security has set itself because it's not the, the it's not registering the key here so um, there's a chip inside this key that it's got to it's got to recognize before it's gonna start so um, right now it's not recognizing the key and it's not letting us start the vehicle but um, also as you'll notice uh, this vehicle has a telescoping wheel let me see what I take it out put it in so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with this uh, telescoping wheel to see if possibly uh, maybe we got some broken wires in this column. And we'll try it again. Because every time they get in the car, this uh, steering wheel automatically adjusts. So over time, it's not uncommon for those wires to break. So we'll cycle the key back on, see if we still got the flashing light. And we do, so it's still not going to start. But I'm gonna keep playing with this and hopefully, uh, if we're lucky, we can get it to start. Let's try again. Still nothing. started up all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the I'm just gonna pull these plastic covers off around the steering column here and uh, once I get those off I'll show you guys what I find inside so if you get stranded and uh, in your Acura thing won't start and if that key uh, light is flashing you're definitely gonna want to try moving that steering column around a little bit and see if you got a thing to fire up because that will uh, get you out of a jam all right, we got the uh, cover all off the steering column on this Ecker for the uh, crank, no crank, no start problem um, with the security key flashing. Uh, and as you can see here, this is actually, this is our pass lock unit. And I've unplugged the connector. And as you can see there, those, um, all those wires are broke. And that's just, oh, yeah, see, they're touching down, they're doing funky stuff. And that's just from this telescoping wheel going back and forth. Um, now the problem is going to be finding um, that pigtail connector because that's not repairable because they broke off so close to the connector. So um, if we can't find one from the dealer, we might have to, uh, you know, they'll go through a, a junkyard or something just to snip the harness and wire it in. But uh, there's our problem. Uh, if this video was helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.